Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, and in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through some of my low calorie, high protein recipes uh, that come to a total of 1,500 calories for the day. Uh, they are easy to make, they are delicious, and you are gonna love them, trust me. Uh, and now that gyms have reopened in Ireland, for now anyway, uh, I'm gonna be taking you through my push workouts. So some eating, some lifting, what more could you want? And I'm gonna be kicking the day off with a breakfast quiche. Uh, which is a creation that I am very proud of. These are the ingredients that I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna be using an egg, some egg whites, uh, bacon medallions, turkey sausages, we have some veg, uh, we have some low fat soft cheese, so this Philadelphia one, sea salt and some smoked paprika. And comment below if I have got you absolutely hooked on smoked paprika. I wanna see how many people I have actually influenced uh, to start using this in their meals. It is the goat. All right, so to kick things off, I'm gonna chop up 150 grams of mushrooms into little pieces. That is followed by three of these smoked bacon medallions that you get from Super Value. So in total, three medallions is gonna have only 99 calories and 18 grams of protein. And then I'm gonna chop up two of these 70 calorie turkey sausages into little pieces. Then I'm going to add my meat and veg to a frying pan and season them with some smoked paprika and sea salt. And as they are cooking away, I am going to crack one egg into a mixing bowl. There we go. I'm gonna add in 100 ml of liquid egg whites, 15 grams of this low fat soft cheese. I'm gonna add some sea salt, a little bit of smoked paprika and I'm gonna mix the cheese and the eggs together. Alright so the sausages, medallions and mushrooms are good to go so I'm gonna add them into this Pyrex dish that is followed by half a red pepper and half an onion that I've cut up into little pieces. Then I'm gonna add my egg and cheese mix. Alright so this is how we are looking and now I'm gonna pop it in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes at 220 degrees Celsius. So yeah it does take quite a while to cook so I always like to kind of go off and do something in the meantime so I'm actually gonna go have a shower now uh, and yeah I'll catch you when it's done all right I am absolutely starving this actually took a little bit longer than 40 minutes it probably took like 50 55 minutes so just be prepared for that you are not doing anything wrong the top just takes a little bit longer to cook and as you can see I'm gonna be very unmannerly and eat it out of the Pyrex dish we're all friends here no judgment the top is so crispy this looks so good. Let's give it a taste. Mm. All right, I actually took it out of the Pyrex dish because I felt like I wasn't doing it justice. Look how good this is. Oh my days. Mm, that looks nice. When you cut all the way down, it's so nice because at the base, you've got most of the meat. So it's like the sausages and the medallions then closer to the top. Uh, you have more of the veg and then the top is like really crispy, especially around the crust. So yeah, if you get that all in one go, it's unreal. We actually tell everyone about your challenge for the month of December. What's the goal? Rach has three main goals for the month of December. So, <clears throat> 10, oh well, I changed it to 70,000 steps. A week? A week. 70,000 steps a week. Five gym sessions. Five gym sessions a week? <clears throat> And, and is that push pull legs? Yeah, and then one and a half liters of water every day. Happy days. And be more positive, which I fail at every day. <laughs> Speaking of being more positive, I actually started journaling over the last couple of days, which is not something really a lot of people do, especially lads, but I've honestly felt it's helped my positivity so much because it's a gratitude journal so you have to kind of write things that went well every single day and it just makes you think about all of the good things because as humans I think we naturally focus a lot more on the bad things that happen so yeah being forced to think about the better things always puts you in a better mood and I do it like three minutes in the morning three minutes in the evening Alright, so for lunch I am having some protein porridge. I did not want to bore you with the instructions uh, because I've made it like a million times. If you are new to my channel, I think I made it in my last video or definitely the one before that anyway. Uh, but in here there is basically 40 grams of smooth porridge, 30 grams of chocolate brownie whey protein, 15 grams of marshmallows, uh, and 15 grams of powdered peanut butter. And I completely forgot what I was meant to make it with a completely different protein powder, one sec. So yeah, one of my clients sent me these protein powders as a gift, protein for oats. They are from PE Science. 
And this maple brown sugar one is definitely like my favorite. When you mix it with oats, it tastes like the maple Quaker oats that you can pretty much only get in America. Maybe they do them in Ireland or the UK somewhere, but I never ever see them. So yeah, I've really been enjoying them. I have to say, and I've kind of been alternating between that maple brown sugar one, between chocolate brownie, which is what I have here, uh, and between cookies and cream as well. They all go really well in oats. Looking delicious as always. All right, pretty sad they are over, but what can you do? And today is actually a rest day from the gym. I'm kind of getting there about five days per week at the moment, uh, but I want to throw it back to yesterday's push session. Okay, welcome to my push session. I haven't really got anything planned to say here, so I'm just gonna roll with it. Uh, but yeah, this was the session I kind of regarded as a free session. It was my second push session back. And to be honest, it's just been such a novelty to be back in the gym that I wanted to leave my first few sessions free. I wanted to do what I wanted to do. Uh, so yeah, right here, I'm just kind of testing my strength, to be honest. Uh, so I was benching around 110 kg slash 112.5 kg, seeing where I was at, and I was getting out about sets of five, sets of four. So I have lost a little bit of strength uh, over this six week lockdown period but not too much to be fair nothing to be concerned about and it will come back naturally uh, within a couple of weeks and then my next exercise was the incline bench as you can see so I was benching around 80 kg uh, and I supersetted that with the machine lateral raise and then my next superset of the day so I superset quite a lot of my exercises in my push pull and leg sessions uh, but this one here is the one arm tricep push down uh, supersetted with the one arm cable lateral raise and my final final superset of the day was this incline fly machine this is a new machine in my gym it's an absolute beauty i've never felt an upper chest contraction like it and supersetted that with some easy bar skull crushes and this is my final set of easy bar skull crushes here and what i did on my final set was i went to concentric failure so you will see my final full rep here so pushing uh, the barbell up and then I brought it down, but instead of pushing it back up because I wouldn't have been able to, I was bringing the bar down to my chest, pushing it up from there because it's easier down there. Uh, and then I continued to do the eccentric part of the rep. This is an absolute killer. I highly recommend doing it. But yeah, if you want to see more workout footage, comment below and let me know. And let's go to my next meal. All right, hope you enjoyed the workout. I am back in the kitchen about to cook up some dinner. I am wearing my new Boohoo quarter zip which I think is pretty cool. Let's get this show on the road and I'm gonna start by spraying this Pyrex dish with some one calorie spray. I'm gonna add 200 grams of baby potatoes to the dish. I'm actually gonna cut these into smaller pieces so they cook a little bit quicker. Probably help if I use the right side of the knife. Okay, there we go. Makes it look like you have more potatoes as well, which is always a good thing. Then I'm gonna spray them with some more one calorie spray and add some seasoning. So I'm gonna start with some sea salt, some Cajun, some smoked paprika, and some garlic. Let's give it a little shake. I can already tell these are gonna be so good and I'm gonna put them in the oven for about half an hour uh, at 200 degrees Celsius. Okay, so the potatoes have been in the oven about 15 minutes. They are coming along nicely and what I am gonna do is shove them to one side. Spray this side of the Pyrex dish with some locale spray. I'm gonna add 125 grams of asparagus tips into the mix. And then I'm gonna sprinkle 30 grams of this 33% less fat mozzarella uh, over the potatoes and the asparagus. We are looking good. I'm back in the oven it goes for the final 15 minutes. All right, so the potatoes and the asparagus have just under 10 minutes to go. So now I am gonna add one large chicken breast, so 175 grams of chicken to be exact, to a frying pan and add my seasoning. So sea salt and add the exact same seasoning as before. I think I've outdone myself yet again. This honestly turned out way better than I thought it would. Let's give the potatoes a go first. Ooh. Mm. Adding the cheese in at the 15 minute mark was a great show because it just makes the potatoes even crispier. Let's give this beast of a chicken breast a go. This chicken had big breasts. Mm. The combo of seasoning makes the chicken taste so good. Bit of an asparagus sandwich I have going on here. Oh yes. 
Mm. Alright, so it is just about time for my final recipe of the day. But before I go to that, I do want to fill you in uh, on a little bit of news that I have. Uh, because under a lot of my videos and in my DMs, I get people asking me about my recipes, uh, if I'm selling them, if I'm bringing out a cookbook. And over the last few months, I have been working very, very hard on something. It is very close to being ready. That's why I'm announcing it now. And it is genuinely so much bigger and so much better and so much better value than any cookbook you have ever seen. So yeah, it is of course a place that you'll get access to all of my recipes, a video demonstration of each, full calorie and macro breakdown, etc. But that is not even the half of it. And if you are someone who in any way, shape or form struggles with their nutrition or needs some nutritional inspiration or guidance, this is gonna be the place for you. So yeah, as I said, it is almost ready. Make sure you hang tight uh, and you definitely will not regret it. Oh, and just one more thing, can we all appreciate how good my sleep has been this week? I'm averaging seven hours and 48 minutes. I seem to be asleep most nights around 10 o'clock, up at half six, I'm in a very good routine. And if we compare that to last week, you'll see how awful it was. And yeah, that is why this week I've just been working on it so hard. Uh, and it's paying off. But it is time for my final meal of the day and I am going to kick things off by adding 10 grams of self-raising flour to this glass. That is followed by five grams of cocoa powder, one heaped teaspoon of powdered sweetener, 10 grams of flora light, which is just a light spread. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder, five ml of vanilla extract, and 30 ml of liquid egg whites. Then I am going to mix everything together. We are looking good. Then I'm gonna break one square of dark chocolate into as many little pieces as I can and add it to the mix. Then I'm gonna put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Okay, this is how we are looking. I'm gonna add raspberries to the top and about a half a teaspoon more of powdered sweetener. Looks pretty tasty. The beauty of dispersing the chocolate is that there is some like really moist bits. Mm. And for something that takes like a one out of 10 effort, this is good. You can really see the dark chocolate there. All right, everyone, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment below and let me know. Them comments really, really help. And if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are all keeping well and enjoying uh, the lead up to Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas and if you don't, I hope you are enjoying the last few weeks of December anyway. Uh, and yeah, I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.